In the fly olfactory system, olfactory receptor neurons, or ORNs, that express the same odorant receptor project their axons to the same pair of glomeruli in the antennal lobe. Second-order projection neurons, or PNs, target their dendrites into a single glomerulus and relay the specific odor signals to higher olfactory centers. ORNs that express a different odorant receptor project to a different pair of glomeruli, and the signals are relayed by different PNs whose dendrites are targeted to the corresponding glomerulus. Altogether, 50 ORN types project to 50 glomeruli and create an odor map built upon a spatial map originally laid down by the dendrites of the 50 types of PNs. Current research has revealed two of the mechanisms used by PN dendrites to pattern the antennal lobe during development. First, secreted semaphorins, SEMA2A and SEMA2B, form a ventral medial high and dorsolateral low gradient. PNs that express different amounts of a transmembrane semaphorin, SEMA1A, are differentially repelled by the secreted semaphorins. Those that express a high amount target to the dorsolateral antenna lobe and those that express a progressively lower amount target to a progressively more ventromedial area of the antennal lobe. The graded expression of semaphorins instructs the formation of a coarse dendrite map along the dorsolateral ventromedial axis. In the second mechanism, some PNs express capricious, whereas others don't. Capricious positive and capricious negative PNs segregate into different glomeruli at different regions of the antennal lobe. The global gradient and the local binary determinant together instruct different PNs to target different glomeruli. The axons of ORNs follow this same map. ORN axons that express SEMA2B are biased by the SEMA2A2B gradient and take the ventral medial trajectory. SEMA2B positive axons attract more SEMA2B positive axons to take the same trajectory. SEMA2B negative ORN axons by default take the dorsolateral trajectory. The proper choice of the trajectory is essential for the final glomeruli targeting. The final step of synaptic partner matching relies on additional molecular cues. A pair of transmembrane proteins, 10M and 10A, are differentially expressed in different types of PNs and different types of ORNs. Some express 10A only, some express 10M only, some express both, and some express neither. Through a homophilic attraction mechanism, Neurons that express the same genurin become synaptic partners. Altogether, these different molecules, working at different stages of development, lead to the assembly of the olfactory circuit in Drosophila with exquisite wiring specificity.